but I, if I had to pick one option, and I don't want to be one of those guys that says, well, this horse, this horse, this horse, this horse, there's this horse can win. Um, I'm going to go on the line. I'm going to pick, I'm going to, I'm going to pick epicenter. So coming up to the first turn, I think you're going to hear epicenter. Well, you're going to hear summer's tomorrow, epicenter, Messier, Taba a little bit farther back, probably, probably will be Cyberknife. I'm sorry, it probably will be Zosos and Cyberknife. So you're going to hear those names. Epicenter, Summer's Tomorrow, Messier, Taba, Cyberknife, Zosos. And as they go into the far turn, Summer's Tomorrow is going to back up. Epicenter is going to be right there with Zosos. Coming out of the last turn, I think Epicenter is going to cut the corner. He's going to have a slight lead. I think Taba is going to come running down the stretch with Messier. I think Cyberknife is going to come running late. I think it's going to be a four-way dual mid-stretch between Cyberknife, Taba, Epicenter, I think Messier might fade back a little bit. And then I think you're going to see my long shots come in. I think Barbara Road's going to show up a late. Um, I think Simplification could get in there. I think Charge It could be in there. Um, I'm curious to see what happens here. So it looks like they're going to be loading. Ready for a start. The Kentucky Derby beginning and summer is tomorrow takes it to him right off the mark straight to the front and crown pride is showing speed too and messi is not far behind either david toward the outside past the twin spires for the first time summer is tomorrow setting the pace down inside and crown pride is going to stalk the pace on the outside in second zozos comes on to be third messier with a great spot toward the rail in fourth cyber life comes away in fifth Tab is racing in sixth. charge it in tight toward the rail while seventh epicenter comes out racing in eighth while happy is ninth Pioneer Medina on the outside in 10th. Sandin toward the inside. 11th. Pratt is patient with him. And then it's White Gabario racing in 12th. Classic Causeway far off the pace today in 13th. Tony Port is 14th. Simplication is 15th by 3. Tis the Bomb is 16th. Rich Strike is 17th. Mo Donegal lingering near the back of the pack in 18th. Followed by Barber Road. Happy Jack is the trailer. Down the back stretch run. A merciless pace. 45 and one fifth seconds in the Kentucky Derby. Down the back stretch they go. Summer is tomorrow. Crown Pride and now Messier splits them and comes on through. Here's Messier now taking the lead for the far turn run. Crown Pride tries to go with Messier. Epicenter is on the move now. Epicenter is making progress as they round the far turn and Cyberknife is there too. So to smile happy. Sandin is picking through the pack. Sandin is switched on and here he comes. Charger is there. White the Barrio coming with a wide sweeping move. Tab is trying to find a way through as is Tony Port as the field turns for home at Churchill Downs. Epicenter running for the roses. He turns for home in front by three, but Sandin is digging in, and here comes Sandin now. Sandin is closing in quickly. Simplification is late on the scene. Tony Port and Barber Road, final 16th of the Derby, and it's still Epicenter. Sandin surging, and here comes Rich Strike down toward the inside. It's a wild finish in the Kentucky Derby, and on the wire, Rich Strike does it. Wow! Oh my God. Kentucky Derby! Episode Rich Strike comes out of nowhere. Oh my God! Did I just see that right? Did I just see that right? Rich Strike? I'm in shock! Oh my God, a shocker in the 148th Kentucky Derby. This horse didn't like dirt. This horse backed in uh, not even 30 hours ago. He had no shot. Oh my God.
And I had, I believe I have an emergency exacta on Rich Strike. I hope hope to God I do. Otherwise, I have got completely creamed. Oh, my God. You just saw it here live and hopefully not archived on the No Filter Network. It looks like I have a $4 exacta with Rich Strike over Epicenter. I hope to God it saves me because I I am in shock. I am in such shock. I didn't even know this horse was close. When I heard him say Rich Strike, I thought it was a mistake. I thought it was Barber Road. I'm speechless. But Epicenter ran his race. Zandon did what everybody thought he would do. I was really proud of Epicenter fighting off Zandon. But I did not see that one coming one bit. I've always, I've always reminded people, look out for the horses that back in at the last moment. I just told Nick that. I've been telling him, actually, I'm keeping track of all the horses that back in last minute. I said, and use them. And 3, 10, 13, 1. That will be, my guess is that will be a $100,000 Superfecta. So that's how it goes. Uh, I know it blew up a lot of tickets. Luckily, I have a $4 exacta. I'm hoping it's going to pay, I don't know, hopefully it pays at least $1,500 for $2. Maybe I get $3,000 out of it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'll tell you what, I still might be going to Sizzler if this exacta pays. I'm telling you, I've never, ever criticized someone's opinion on who they like. If somebody would have said Rich Strike was their choice, I would have said, hey, go with it. I've never criticized it. Now, I said I didn't think this horse would be there, and that's fine. I, you know, I'll, I'll own that. But I was at least smart enough to put a $4 exacta on this horse just in case he pulled it off. That's one of the reasons why I love this sport. I keep telling people anything can happen. And you just saw it here live and archived on the No Filter Network. The 21 with three exacta, it looks like it pays $4,101 for every $2. That would mean that I get $8,202. But I don't know if this is accurate or not. Here we go. The exacta pays $4,101. I was right. So it looks like I made $8,200. Oh, I missed I missed super high five. 741,000. I was close on that. Um, I, I need to see that. I missed the other numbers. So the 50 cent try. Oh, a 50 cent try only paid $7,000. I'm shocked. So it's only a $14,000 try. What a shocker. You talk about shocking the world. Rich Strike just shocked the world. I don't know if you, if you had any of those exactas tries uh supers if you did good for you you know what it looks, it looks like i won eight thousand dollars so maybe i am going to sizzler um wow good thing i put those emergency bets in um i hope to god they took because i really liked epicenter i thought epicenter ran a great race um i don't want to call this a fluke because um it wasn't i mean the horse beat the horse beat uh 20, uh, 19 of their horses. I don't even know who this jockey is, Sonny Leon. I don't know who this trainer is. He's only won uh, one race. <laughs> the ra That race was at Churchill Downs. It was fun. You got to love big payouts. I know there's probably a few people that had a couple of $2 tickets just for fun. Well, it bought them dinner tonight. So that's the 148th Kentucky Derby. If you had him, way to go. Maybe you should be on the show. Maybe you should run the show. That's it from nofilter.net. Thank you for watching live or the read broadcast. Um, a shocker. Rich Strike shocks the world in the 148th Kentucky Derby.
Thank you for joining. Good night.